what's going on guys hello and welcome to my review of the 86 rated Cesar Espelicueta it's an amazing looking card so I thought I'd pick it up and let you know my thoughts I've circled in in the following clips to make it easier for you to see just what I'm talking about in terms of gameplay and what he's like to use um, the good news is he's a great card and he's definitely worth picking up especially at the current price of about 100,000 coins and that's roughly how much I got him for and you could probably pick him up for slightly cheaper. I played him for about 30 to 35 games in a manner of different positions. And that's because his stats are just incredible. Especially for a centre-back. And arguably a bit too good for a centre-back if anything. I tried him out in nearly every position going. From left-back to right-back. Centre-mid spot. Defensive mid. Centre-back. Central midfield. Attacking midfield everywhere apart from striker and yeah he got man the matches in every single position and that just shows his quality and all round ability from his first appearance it was obvious that his enhanced passing and dribbling would make an asset to the team but I wasn't quite sure of where to put him regardless of any sort of chemistry hit and decreased stats I mean it's hard to have a player like that at centre back especially considering the price point and it's a lot of money to a majority of players even so, his passing does make it worth it. When you look at him here, the quality of the passes is what I'm actually trying to show. I mean, the cross isn't very good, and I must admit that his cross isn't the best, but the passes themselves, they were all within to feet, space, or exactly where I need them to be, and it's a handy attribute to have. Even Kante here manages to get a goal, and that's purely because of the quality of the pass. I know some people will argue that it's not worth it when you consider that it's a chemistry hit and the stats will go down a little, but considering he has the best passing and dribbling of any defender in the entire Premier League, I'd say that's fair enough. And if you can get him into the final third, his great passing ability usually ensures a goal or a great chance at the very least. So if you don't mind the slight hitting chem, I would highly recommend him as a defensive mid. Without meaning to be disrespectful, I'd say he's probably the best utility player you can buy in the Premier League because he can play across the entire back four, across the entire midfield. Great substitute to have, potentially even in your final teams. Since he's supposed to be a defender, I did play him there for a while and there were some issues because of his height. He's only 5'10 and most centre-backs are at least you know 6'1 or 6'2. But he made up for it with great tracking back and good tackling good positioning and he was really alert on the ball which is always useful in the box maybe it was his height but he wasn't very good in terms of one-on-one -on -one tackling when he was facing the player like right here and it's slightly annoying because you're used to defenders being able to mop up balls from there nonetheless most of the time when he lunged pretty good so I probably wouldn't recommend playing him as a centre back unless you're used to playing with a smaller central defender because people did try and lob him way more than usual and it's difficult to play against if you're not used to it because people don't really use it that much in FIFA 17. There's a new informed Winston Reid which I'm planning on checking out and I'm sure that he or someone else would probably be a better option for the majority of players. This was probably the best bit of play and it highlights why you should be playing further up the pitch. Once again a good pass to start the attack and keep an eye on him he's going to keep running and you can guess what happens next I guess my point is that he's going to be unable to get into these positions normally and this was the exception to the rule and it was a good finish but he didn't score many goals despite playing quite a few games for me but what do you expect if he's going to play at centre back overall I'd say pick him up especially whilst the price is still quite cheap 80 to 100k is not bad at all and he's definitely worth it. Although, I wouldn't play him as a centre-back unless you're used to it. Alright, that's it from me. Um, I hope you liked the video. Feel free to like, comment or subscribe. And yeah, let me know which player I should review next.